This is the last problem of the 2023 AMC 8. Let's explore how to solve this tricky problem. We have this, we have 15 integers A1 through A15 arranged in order on a number line. The integers are equally spaced, so the gap between A1, A2, A3 are all the same. We are also given that 1, A1 is more than, is greater than or equal to 1, but less than or equal to 10. A2 is greater than or equal to 13 and less than or equal to 20. And A15 is greater than or equal to 241 and less than or equal to 250. What is the sum of digits of A14? Essentially, we're just trying to find the value of A14 and we can then sum the digits. Hmm. So what are the key conditions in this problem? Obviously, we've got this giant thing. But another thing is this equally spaced, which is also super important. So let's say we have A1. Now, because they're equally spaced, they form an arithmetic sequence. So A1, A1, and then let's say that A1 plus some common difference, we can call it D. So A2 will then just be A1 plus D. And then let's say A3 is A1 plus 2D because they're equally spaced. So the difference between A1 and A2 is D, A2 and A3 is D, and so on. And this goes all the way till the 15th term, which will be A1 plus 14D, because there's 14, there's 14 common differences between A1 and A15. We just add 14, we're essentially adding 14 common differences before we get to A15. So this is of course the value of A1 all the way till A15. Okay, so we've already kind of encoded this first condition. Another condition that might be neglected is integers. Now, this is not just something to brush off. This is super important. Integers, integers, integers. That changes the whole thing because now it's kind of like a Diophantine equation, an equation with only integer solutions. So, how should we use this integer condition? Well, a1, A1 plus 14D. Notice that because all of these numbers are integers, A1 has to be an in integer, of course, and so does D. D has to be an integer as well, so that this term is an integer. And that means that, essentially, this number plus a multiple of 14, 14D, will equal this number. And these are the kind of observations you have to make. This is not really a pure algebra problem. This is like a algebraic number theory type. It's a hybrid of the two subjects. So we have to look for multiples, divisors, these kind of conditions will give us some valuable information because integers. So that's the key thing here. If, the, if this did not say integers, then we, we would not know anything about this being a multiple of 14 because D could be half or, or something like that, but it's not. So that's essentially what we have here. The first and the last number differ by multiples of 14. Hmm. Well, we have these ranges for the first and the last number. Let's see if we can try and use that. Okay, so we've got like a somewhat wide range here. Multiples of 14. So there probably aren't too many possibilities. The key thing to notice is there's not going to be too many possibilities for A15, the difference between A15 and A1 because they're bounded by this range. There are only 10 possi 11 possibilities for A15 and, or sorry, 10 for A15 and 10 possibilities for A1. So there's not gonna be that many possibilities. So there's, let's, we'll get very few values for the difference between A15 and A1. So this is kind of the key idea, A15 minus A1. There's a range of values that this can be. What is the minimum value of A15 minus A1? Well, to get the minimum value, we would have to take the smallest possible value of A15 and the largest possible value of A1. To get the maximum value, we would have to take the, sm the highest possible value of A15, 250, and subtract the smallest possibility of A1, 249. Aha, this is a range of only 19 numbers. So the possibilities for A15 minus A1 are only 19. But then we know A15 minus A1 is 14D, so a multiple of 14. 
So now we just have to look at all the possible multiples of 14 between 231 and, four, and 249. So we can just do like a quick division here. 231 divided by 14, we can just do that the standard way. We get that, okay, it's, it's a little bit more than 16. It's like 16 and a half. So 14 times 16 is too small. That's equal to 224. But 14 times 17, 14 times 17 is just 170, 17 times 10, plus 17 times 4, 68. The mental metric I'm using here, 238. And this is in the range, so this possibility does work. No, yes. Now what about 14 times 18? Is that too big? Well, another quick mental metric. 16 minus 2 times 16 plus 2. That's 16 squared minus 2 squared. That's 256 minus 4, 252. Oh, no, nope, this is too big. Oh, wow, isn't that amazing? So we basically, we only have one possibility for A15 minus A1, and that is 238. That's cool, isn't it? So we now know the difference between a1 and A15 is 238. Okay, so now these, the trick for these types of problems is to look at the condition we, you have not used yet when you're stuck. And we've used this condition, well, at least partially, and this condition as well. We've not once looked at this condition. So somehow we have to try and use this condition now. That's interesting. So remember that A2 is just A1 plus D. Oh, but notice that, remember, 238, this is equal to A15 minus A1, and that's also just 14D. And we can divide by 14 from both sides to get that, right? We divide by 14, divide by 14, cancels out to get D equals 17. So A2, this is just A1 plus 17. Okay, so A2 ranges from 13 to 20, and it's A1 plus 17. So now from here, notice that 17 is already really close to the maximum bound. So it seems like there's not going to be that many possibilities because let's say A1 was 8 or something like that. Then A2 would be 25, which is out of the range. So there's very few possibilities for A2 because A2 has to be at least 17. Since it's A1 plus 17 and A1 is positive. So let's just explore the possibilities. Let's say A1 is as small as it can be, 1. Then A2 would be A1 plus 17, 18. Now A1 could also be 2. Then A3 would be 2 plus 17, 19. Now A2 could be 3, and that would force A4, or sorry, I don't know why I wrote A3 here. That should be A2. A2 would be 19, and A2 over here would be 20. Now if A2 is, sorry, A1 over here is going to be 3 then A2 is 20. If A1 over here is 4, then A2 is 20. Well, on, but no, 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 this doesn't work because 13 to 20. So, boom, we can cross that out. And same for all the other possibilities. So those, these are the only conditions that work. And that the key to noticing this was that 17 is already really close to 20. So, and because A2 has to be more than 17, there's gonna be so few possibilities, only three. Now, for each of these three cases, let's now find what will be the value of A15 and see if it satisfies this range. Because we already know this satisfies the first condition, this satisfies the second condition. Which one will satisfy the third is the question here. And we can just plug into our formula. We know A15 minus A1, remember, was 238. So that also means A15 is just A1 plus 238. So we just do 1 plus 238 to get 239. So A15, in the first case, we have that A15 is equal to 239. In the second case, we have that A15 will just be, again, 238 plus the value of A1. And A1, in this case, is 2. So in this case, A1 will be 240. And finally, in this final case, we have that A15 will be the first term, 3, plus A15 minus A1, 238, and that gives 241 in this case. Now, which one of these cases works? 
Well, notice that A15 is at least 241. And both of these conditions fail to satisfy that because they're too small. So this is the only possibility that works. So we know our sequence must be A1. We must have A1, B3. And then the common difference we already discovered was 17. So this will be, from here on out, we can erase this, 3, and then 3 plus 17, and then 3 plus 2 times 17, so on. And now we can just use the arithmetic sequence formula to find A14. So A14 is just A1, which is 3, plus 13 times the common difference, which is 17. Remember, because the, remember the arithmetic sequence formula, it's just the first term plus common difference times plus common difference times number of terms in between. This is 3 plus 13 times 17. Well, another mental metric here. That's 15 minus 2 times 15 plus 2. So 15 squared minus 4. 225 minus 4. That's 221. So their sum is 224. The sum of digits of A14 is then 8. So 8 is the answer for this question. A great problem. Hope you enjoyed.